Hey! I've been looking forward to this for a while. I just, I just had to do Disco Elysium first. It just looked too interesting. And it was. It was great. So I'm, I don't regret doing Disco Elysium first, but I've definitely been like, I want to get to Outer Worlds. Although there has been a number of people that are like, Outer Worlds was kind of disappointing to me after Disco Elysium. So I wonder if I'll have that same reaction that people had when two games kind of compete a little bit in some in a similar like fan space one might deflate the other i had that happen to me two years three years ago when was that two years ago uh when uh breath of the wild came out and everyone's like oh my god check out horizon zero dawn it's so cool and it's like but i played i played i, I was playing breath of the wild and it's just it was horizon zero dawn was so underwhelming when I was already playing Breath of the Wild and having so much fun with that, and it seemed to basically do everything better. But still, I'm open to more things, and frankly, I uh, am often starved for great games to play in these genre in the, the overall, like, Western RPG subcategory that having two things to compete with each other should be some fantastic news, because oftentimes there's just long gulfs of not a lot going on, especially since most of AAA gaming has just completely abandoned this entire genre. So like, when something like this comes out, it's one of the few we're gonna get for a while. So, hopefully it's great. I wanna make sure that like, subtitles and shit like that's on. Was there was it even listed here? Subtitles must be... yeah, subtitles are probably just a default feature. Alright, let's get in here. I've heard, I've, I, some time has passed, so I've, I've been pre-warned a little bit that, uh, normal's maybe too easy for this game, so we're gonna go straight to hard. I don't wanna, well, I'll, I should show real quick, but I don't, I don't wanna do Supernova because instead of just being harder, it's full of a bunch of other features that sound like they're gonna be a bit rough to do, not the least of which is, uh, heavily restricted save features, some survival mechanics added in, which actually might be a little interesting but then your companions can die permanently, and that's just kind of a bummer for a playthrough that I'm recording, so I don't want my companions to die permanently. You'd almost wish that you could like toggle some of these individual features like you're customizing your invisible ink or XCOM campaign or whatever, but it's all or nothing, I guess. So we're gonna go hard. There's the subtitles. For some reason, not in the other menu. All right, Obsidian, we're back. I only had a one RPG break from Obsidian. We went straight from Pillars of Eternity to Disco Elysium to this. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Ah, got ourselves a little bit of a, uh... What's the name of that game? Wow, I lost the... Never mind. It's fine. But <laughs> the other game I played where... A bunch of people in space are sacrificed because they're in the way of a company's ability to profit. 
All right, all customized out. Watch the character creator video if you haven't, if you want to see that, all the details. Otherwise, here's the summary. We're going to go on with our lives now. Goodbye. By what you mean, hello. Haha. <laughs> Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Likely bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Is that going to be his character trait? Periodically reaching over to his right to activate something and then it doesn't work the first 12 times? Fun way to explain your existence as a character. It's like, oh, why is your character customized to your specific desire? There was a whole colony is one person from it. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, a smuggler. His name is Hawthorne and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Sir, I've been alive again for like two minutes and you're already ODSTing me. It's a lot to take in. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Literally the first moment of real gameplay. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board. You're staring I... directly at basalt columns. I'm sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. This game is made for me. squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Really fucked that up. Yeah, he really fucked that up. He just- yeah, he's physically holding the beacon. Is 
the hell of a mistake to make. These things look like they're from a Dr. Seuss book. But those things look like they're from my image gallery. Because <laughs> they are already at this point, actually. Okay, that's not usually how those work, but okay. Aliens and all that. This is a hell of an, ind an indulgence on basalt columns right off the bat. The entire zone. The entire first zone is nothing but... Alright, shift is run. Space bars jump. And we have we need we immediately have good reason to be indebted to someone because they brought us back to life from the death and all that. We're kind of stuck in an ILO situation where everyone was just abandoned in pods to die. Didn't pa didn't quite pan out that way for them though. So we have reason we have reason to do stuff because we're working on this guy's our debt to this guy basically. Hello, what was that? It's like a rabbit lizard. Can I see it better. I sneak up on him. I just want to see it up close. We also have a good ex good explanation for why we are characters that don't know what's going on around us. Because we, we were in cryo for 70 years. So basically everyone who's alive right now wasn't when we were put in that state. Guys. Just want to see what you look at. Like... Oh, sneaking does not seem to work on them. Maybe I don't move? It is like a little lizard chameleon thing with ears. They're so floppy. Uh, hopefully we'll get to see one up close later. Fire bad. Don't touch fire. Or fire not bad. Fire might not do anything. <laughs> Look at these little guys. Can I zoom in? I need to go find my long gun with a scope, so I can zoom in on these guys. And then I'll be able to see what they look like. You don't appear to have legs. Hmm. Guess you won't be needing that. It's still out of fire running, so they probably died very recently. Is that what got you? Okay, so that's their little detection meter. Hmm. It turns into the tall one. Uh oh. Is he... Are you coming? No, he's back to normal. I think they might be dinosaurs. I can't quite make them out from here, but I'm sure we'll see them later. Hopefully when I have a gun. Hey little guy. Come on over. No. Nope. Oh. Right, hey now. You've been frozen for a while. Uh. Bound to be unforeseen side effects. Wait, are we saying that me being in cryo for so long gave me the ability to bend time a bit? Is that what we're going with this? Guys, hey. Okay. It's you. Oh, that's not a flashlight. Oh god, what did, oh, I just used up a healing kit. I didn't mean to do that. Look at him. Oh, there he goes. Thanks for getting stuck on geometry for me. Oop. And now, I, now the mandatory tutorial for healing. Would have been nice to not press F slightly sooner. I tried to use a flashlight. It's fine. We'll figure things out. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. You, you, you seem to. It's supposed to be you've tried the rest, now try the, the best. Or is your whole gambit that you're less than satisfactory? It's an interesting approach. But still, I'll patch you up. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. How are you feeling? 
better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Sure. Might only work once, though. That's it. Oh, you better hope there's not more of them coming or they spook at that point. So yeah, as as I as I should have expected, no voice acting, because Obsidian game, and that's that's that that usually restricts your dialogue really badly. So it's probably a good idea that your protagonist isn't voiced in this case, and also means I don't need to pick a character based on voice acting, because oftentimes when given male female choice in a game like this, I'll often pick a character based on which voice actor I like more between the two, which is why I go with Jennifer Hale in Mass Effect. But in this case, it doesn't matter. Let's see here. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Can you tell me where I am? I know this doesn't exactly inspire confidence after the whole gonna get you help thing. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. I'm off. And now I've got a gun. Isn't this fun? Uh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Well, sounds like he's been listening in on me. I don't remember if he told me that or not. Seems like I can just clear out here. Don't worry, I'm totally gonna get help for you, so this is justifiable. Ha ha ha. Anyway, enjoy dying in a cave. Bye. That's, that's not really much of a zoom. It's not gonna give me a better view, really. Oop. Gah. That is what's happening. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the Tactical Time Dilation TTD button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving and attacks drain it faster. TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Okay, so that's what that was what was being referred to earlier with my with my long gun skill is the thing is its effect with the TTD. So we can go review that later, I suppose. So vats, basically. You can't escape. I'm gonna look at you. Look at the little guy. Haha. That's the secret. The reason those things are in this game is just to taunt you with your, how slow you are, and then you, then you get your speed bonus, and you're like, oh, I can look at them now. Weapon management. 
You can have four weapons equipped at a time, dragging them to the slots at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons to the screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons, and then take care of your enemies. That's uh, accurate, I suppose. Journal. Stranger in a strange land. Find Hawthorne's ship. Yep. Smuggler took your meeting location a bit too literally. Guess that means his ship is yours now. If you can find it. Got that going for me. Skills. Long guns. So I have TTD location hit effects. So that means, that must mean that when I have this a long weapon, there must be something about targeting specific body parts to do something specific. Yeah, it's not really specified, but I imagine that if I use TTD with a long gun, I'm going to probably have a visual thing on the screen that kind of indicates what I, what I got. Hello, perks. Details. Reputation. These are the... The factions, and the, the primary ones. Groundbreaker, Iconoclast, Monarch, Stellar Industries. Sublight, Salvage and Shipping, and The Board. Alright. That's one way to explain it. You have your, you have your quests, you got your completed quests, and you got your botched quests. Not the usual terminology, but I'll take it. Oh, found a quick save. Off to a good start. Oh god. You startled me. <laughs> Wasn't expecting you just to pop out like that. Here I feel all clever because I got the drop on people. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lock picking skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks. And bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you can see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it'll take. Raising your skill will lower the num uh, number of items used and speed up the process. Ah. Uh, I have 13 out of the 5 skill required to unlock this, but I need 2 more of the device. There it is. There we go. 4 seconds. So no mini game. Telescoping staff. Spacer's choice. Oh, two-handed melee weapon. Telescoping staff meaning like, kind of like what, like a baton that like ejects outward into its full duration or full length, but is otherwise portable. Alright, that's both the bodies. Yeah. Can I have my long gun now? Nope, you guys didn't have another gun. Oop. Found another one. Direct headshot is not quite as lethal as you might hope it would be. Oh shit. And he exploded. You know what? If this is the rest, I kinda of, I'm kinda of curious about the best now. What kind of shit does the best make if this is the rest? This is impressive shit. Like I just exploded from bullets. It's not what bullets are supposed to do. I guess they're fancy space bullets. So I guess I got that going for him. But still, damn, bro. That was a human until it wasn't. <laughs> Some wildlife scattering. That's probably my ship. Private kit. Alright, these guys are named. I'm guessing they're named and they're on this side of cover, so I'm guessing I can talk to them. Otherwise, it's about to get awkward. Hi. 
Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. So I heard, found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? He'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Is this going to be my second consecutive RPG with uh, some anti-capitalist messages? Because I'm here for it. The last, because uh, last one was Disco Elysium. So we introed with this idea that there's an entire colony of of uh, spacers that were, or, or a whole ship of colonists, co colony of spacers, that all got abandoned in space, and the goal was just to like let them rot. They're all sitting there and them in cryo. You're just gonna launch them to the edge of the galaxy and just abandon them and ignore them, and they're just gonna, you know, be forgotten, swept under the rug, and one day their systems would likely fail and they would liquefy and so on essentially murdered, but in the part where you don't have to murder them. Uh, and now we've got this other policy where you got this company that doesn't want its employees to receive medical aid from outside sources, which is pretty fucked up if you're saying them out on these kinds of places, and they're, they're not supposed to accept any kind of treatment. It's like a deeply fucked up thing, in other words, like, our policy is more important than your well-being. Hmm. Let's look at our options here. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Oh, calm down. Do Spacer's Choice Guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But... Seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. It's gonna be fucking laminated. What a claim to make. Hey there. That was a crit there. I saw that exclamation point. They honestly seem to be holding on just fine, though. Oh, right, I gotta find all their bodies. Shit, where are they? They could have so much stuff. Somebody have a long gun, please. They came running at us, though, so I'm not confident. They probably had m melee weapons. Did I say that they came ranning at us? Is that what I said? What is wrong with me? Are we having a chat before I go on? This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Yeah, it's fine. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. And lamination, am I right? You like lamination? Oh, there he is. Hey, don't put a booty on it. I need to be able to leave. Not just anyone has chosen to enforce landing regulations, you know? I had to fill out four whole forms. Four whole forms? Wow. I'm really sad for you. That must have been hard. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. <laughs> that's a- that's a line. It specifically warns me, there's nothing viable on this ship. The navigation console, intruder. Please arrest yourself. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. 
What are you going to self? What are you going to do? Self destruct? You realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Is this Hawthorne's ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Oh, the ship that's broken down is called the Unreliable. Great. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. It's funny because it also feels like a version... I don't know if they're parodying it directly or not on purpose, but there's this ongoing thing in like Bioware games, for example, where they have to give you a title or they have to give you a last name that you can't change because then everyone can refer to you as Shepard or Hawk or Inquisitor or uh, I almost said Spartan, uh, Spectre and stuff like that, uh, Grey Warden, because then if they have those names, they can voice act a thing that they call you all game while still letting you customize a name. In this case, I fully customized my entire name, but the ship's just going to call me Hawthorne because if, I can't, if it doesn't pretend I'm Hawthorne, it can't fly away. Which is just kind of a funny riff on that. They're going with kind of a half Gladys, half not, but we have like a bunch of different like preset faces it cycles through that express different emotions. I liked, I liked the fury face that it showed when it was trying to threaten me off the ship. It was ineffective though. Congratulations! You've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to new perks on every other level. Keep leveling and you'll uh, be an upper management material for no time. I don't want to. I don't want to be a manager. Oh god, hello, Aunt Cleo. Heard of you earlier. Auntie Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a care skill, core skill, my bad, melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly into specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but unlocks, uh, special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skill's passive bonuses, but won't give you or take away any skill unlocks. Hmm. It only affects the effect of the stat. 
Hmm. So core skills are the first 50 levels and specialized skills are the next 50 levels, apparently. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you can you too can achieve middle management. Wow. What a goal. What a life, really. Now we have 10 points to spend. I'm guessing we spend these 10 points directly. What, why are they... Adjusted skill value from hibernation. Okay, hibernation suit. So my suit gives me five medical, five science, and five engineering. Hmm. I wonder if that's because it lets me complete the tutorial. If I have at least five points in these stats more than normal. Curious about that. This is my toss ball team mascot. I'm just king of inspiration over here. Ooh. Getting level 20 lets you tell your companions to do special attacks. I'm already at 30 persuade. Hmm. I'm actually pretty decent at hacking right off the bat. Alright, so let's try putting a point to long guns. Nope. Ranged? Really? Okay, so they're categorized together. Unexpected. But okay. Put a couple points into dialogue. A couple points into stealth. A couple points to leadership. Eh, a couple more points into dialogue. Why not? Interesting, though. Still not sure what it means when it says after 50, you put them in directly into the specialized stats. Anyway. Uh, apply. You'll be able to, you will be unable to undo allocations, sure. Combat dialogue abilities. You've unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they're automatically debilitated. Okay. Selecting perks. Welcome to the perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Ani wants you to be, to be your best and help her be the very best. Toughness plus 50% base health. Damn. You've grown healthier in your time outside of stasis. Twenty five percent increased TDTD. Bonus damage when you're alone. If you want to not have party members, like some sort of lunatic that doesn't like party members, walk speed's tempting. Just get around faster for the entire game. Sprint speed. Weapon durability loss down. Companion crit chance up. Base armor rating. Increased ammo in stock at vendors. Carry more stuff. Tactical dilation comes back faster. Fast travel while encumbered. That age-old thing in like a Fallout game or whatever where you carry too much shit and you're like Ugh. Fast travel's off. I either have to drop something or I have to walk all the way back. My allies give me bonus experience? That almost seems overpowered. Interesting. If I get that immediately at the game, it should increase my overall amount of experience significantly by the end of the game, right? Do I only put one point to each one? I take? I better go get an ally fast. <laughs> Why not? I mean, it's, it's hard to resist getting a bonus experience skill with your first uh, experience purchase of the entire game. That's got, that's just gonna, that's gotta be a profit. Oh, there's a lot of codex. 
Oh, that's a lot. The Holographic Shroud. The Holographic Shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas, provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off-limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on sight. Okay. This doesn't seem like a, much of a lore menu, though. Yeah, it's a lot of... Generic... Yeah, it's a lot of tutorial messages. But it's called the Codex. So your lore probably still goes in there, which is kind of a bummer. I would definitely hope to be able to separate lore messages from tutorial messages. Uh, we got a topographic map. Here's the local low point that the the settlement seems to be based in. That's also adjacent to the beach, lake or whatever. Here's our high point. Topographic lines are there, but also there's the or topographic lines. And there's also the coloration. The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. I'm just falling my way into success, aren't I? I exist in this universe for a whole half an hour and I've already got a ship. Not bad for me. I don't want to just poke Due around now. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Oh. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone. But he always had me. And now he's dead. Is that Moncala? I think it is Moncala. Not Moncala. Chinese checkers. Moncala is a completely different game. <laughs> oh, that's slightly. I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. I don't. And I'm not sure if I appreciate how judgy you sound right now, Ada. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. That's where we go when we find the regulator. And then we can get off this planet. Let's see what I can do to go find friends. I should probably not explore this place too much, because it's in lockdown. A toss ball stick. If That's part of my lore. If you're in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Oh, a shotgun's pretty tempting. Item repair. Keep your company gear in tip-top shape as expected, and some t uh, something you're carrying needs repair. You need you can repair armors and uh, weapon and armor at the we workbench using weapon and armor parts. Get them from breaking down unwanted items. Players with engineering skill can repair their gear without need of a workbench. Repairing an item returns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness, ready to cause or prevent maximum damage. Keep your office equipment in tip-top shape for superior company efficiency. I have a shotgun. That's always fun. Why? These are swords, but this stick does more DPS. Is it because it's my part of my backstory? Is, is that why I'm so good at this, at this item in particular? Just can't help but wonder. Got too many of these. Breakdown for junk? Give me some weapon parts. Why not? Looking for durability. 88%. Gotcha. 68%. Oh, no. This has to be fixed. Ah, there it is. 5%. Inspect. No, I would like to repair. Oh, there we go. We'll go to the repair screen. Repair. What does it cost? Ooh. Repairing it takes from 4 damage to 14 damage. But of my 21 weapon parts, it'll take 18 of them. I guess it's a good thing that I just finished doing that a minute ago. Breaking down other things for parts, because apparently we need that shit. Might as well do that some more. 
And that has a DPS. Oh, 173. Oh, yeah. It looks like it, it does look kind of like a toy, to be honest, but I'll take a shotgun over a pistol. We'll see if I can find that long gun, though. I should have finished exploring first. A moment ago, I was like, I'm not going to explore this place. We should come back when it's ready to go or something. But then a moment later, I found a new gun. So now I'm like really curious. Who knows what could be lying around here? Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it Oops. himself. Right before he died. Character respecification. Choosing to respec refunds all of your skill points and perk points. Then you can spend them a different way. Ah. Ah, but that's a price. No, I would not like to spend 500 points. I have been playing for minutes. But good to know, there's a respec machine right here. Kind of thought that... Ow! Kind of thought that respec was going to mean, like... Change my, uh... Appearance, like start over again. I always thought it. I always took respect to mean respecialization, not respecification. That might be a, a joke they're going for or something, though. I have to lockpick my own goddamn ship. This is some bullshit. All right. Look forward to that problem, I guess later. Hi again. I seem to have walked in a circle. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Oh, it's like a telescoped camera. Like old-timey style. Points at the door, I guess, yeah. Welcome aboard Alex Transport. The unreliable. Huh. It was added afterwards. So it was his personal moniker for the ship. Gotcha. Ah, it's nice out. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. You got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. Continuing to stare at my ship. All right, keep it safe, well, if you don't mind. It's nice to have a couple of just friendly locals with guns that would like to just hang out around my ship and make sure nothing bad happens to it. Please, take your sweet time inspecting it and building that report. Preferably like a few days or weeks or however long I'm on this planet for. It might be, might be, it might be like an hour. I have no idea. I have no sense. I've actually managed to go in pretty unspoiled. I don't know much about this game. I just knew that this zone was going to start with this landscape. These marauders are everywhere. Like everywhere, everywhere. Kind of a problem, ain't it? Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Can you do a stealth takedown or is it only guns? Oh well. Okay, not what I was hoping for, honestly. Low damage weapons are ineffective. Ah. I can't read that tutorial right now. I'm busy dying, if we're being honest. I'm about to die. Okay, he's dead. Ooh! I have to get a little more used to this combat system. Or get a gun I actually specialize in. I guess I do spe- eh, I get excited about shotguns, but I guess I do specialize more. Where's the other body? 
killed two of them, right? Is it just me or are our bodies weirdly hard to find in this game? Oh, there you are. Ah, oh, you came pre-hidden. How handy. Hmm. So a tutorial popped up for a second there, but it came and went too fast. Grazes. Low damage weapons are ineffective against heavy armor. Oh, that's, that is what I was talking about. <clears throat> when more than half your damage is absorbed, you will see your damage numbers float downwards. You might want to switch weapons. Ah. Damage 14 times 12 versus damage 22. So since it shoots a bunch of pellets, I guess a lot of it gets absorbed by the armor. That's why it's, it's treated as being a low damage weapon. But also I specialize significantly more. What do they even call these things? I mean, ranged is all one category. Handguns, long guns, heavy weapons, handguns, long guns, heavy weapons. This is guns. Doesn't really specify what a shotgun is. Oh, skill. Long guns. Okay. No, I do specialize in a shotgun. It just isn't very good at, at the moment, apparently. Oh, these guys are a little too armored for the... for me. It's the early game. I'm not really equipped yet. Did I get armor back there, though? Armor management. We're going to be reading a lot of tutorials. Drag armor or helmet items up to the equipment slots to wear them. You can also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, care, uh, compare to other armor, blah, blah, blah. So this is three armor hibernation suit. Gives me plus five to tech skills. We knew that much. But immediately this stuff is better. And it's be it gives you five to stealth while also having more armor. This gives me nine armor and most attack skills. It's exactly what the other thing did, so that's immediately a significant upgrade. So I got armor now. Plus five to lockpick. Got a helmet on. Looks cool, but I'd prefer to be able to see my character's face. I should, I should check the settings to make to check good good good. Consumables. Here you can use junk or drop your consumables. They can be used directly to gain. A variety of boosts. Your emergency inhaler is shown at the top of the screen. It uses Adreno as a fuel to heal you in an emergency. And always keep it loaded in slot one. Hmm. Increase your medical skill to unlock more drug mixing slots that can hold all types of consumables, not just Adreno. Each slot is mixed into every uh, puff of the inhaler for a combined effect. So you're, if you use the inhaler, it does every effect at once? Huh. That sounds kind of interesting. That is bread. Wait, pre-sliced bread is spelled without an A. That's distressing. <laughs> if it's not spelled like the word bread, that means it's probably secretly not bread. It's a, it's a bread-like substance that they get away with selling to you as not bread. Because they don't, because because if they don't call it the name, then they're not tricking you. Haha, <laughs> these bunch of nanners got tentacles on them. I'm a little scared to look at these items anymore. I bet you they let you turn off your helmet, because that's pretty standard. Show player helmet, gaga. Show companion helmets, gaga. Cinematic kill camera and head bobbing. Sure, why not? I do like large text. How did you know? I can revisit the rest of that later. I'll take that for now, though. Let's, yeah, continue our approach. There's no, like, stealth takedown button, is there? Nope. You alright, buddy? 
You're right. Are we down to animals? Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. Damn, these things are scary. And dead. They're called canids? Isn't canid like the phylum or whatever of dogs? I mean, they're, they're dog shaped, but they're like a nightmare. It's like a jackal. It's like a jackal from Halo. But in like dog form, with like a pluming tail. It looks like it's got, yeah, that's feathers. That's an animal. All right. <laughs> oh, shot his head right off. You all right, buddy? Gonna find you. Oh yeah, you're gonna find me? Well, thank you for loudly announcing your current location. I would like to use that to my advantage. Help. Help. So, are you running? He's running. All right. Very handy when you run away. Good for my purposes. All right. Well, I don't know who you just revived out of that case, Mr. Phineas, if that is your real name. But they seem particularly adept at mass murder, so I guess you lucked out there. Or maybe you didn't. We'll see how it pans out. Hunting rifle. That's more akin to what I was kind of hoping I might find. Fifty-three DPS. Condition one hundred percent. Level. Oh, this is level three. Shit. Still sixty-six damage. Could be pretty good. Maybe I can start with this for recon purposes, and then when they're chasing after me, I can switch to my. Shotgun to clean up the dogs as they come after me. My new dog cleaning service. Don't you? Yeah, aren't you a fan? Well, this will definitely be a change of pace after an entire game of no combat. <laughs> but also, my last two RPGs I played were both CRPGs, so it's kind of... This is a hell of a change of pace for me in general. I haven't played a game like this since... Uh... Prey? I'm gonna go with Prey. Alright, well, buckle up everyone. Here we go.